Hello and welcome back. Now I'd like to read you a page that I channeled through from Sultan, uh, my spirit guide, who talks all about 2012. He states, The wave, the ninth in the Mayan calendar, has finally been smashed along our shores. This cycle is in its final year, a 164 billion evolutionary tide of cosmic consciousness. Then the beginnings of a brand new spiritual wave called the Golden Age will be here. This new spiritual wave will switch the old way of thinking of ego and material base into an awakened state of being into your light body. It will change your physical body into a light body form. It is the time to get excited. It is the time to be thrilled. It is time you are so lucky to be here. It will change all of your life from what you know it, and it will change it for the better into an era of unconditional love. For the remaining wave here, the 2011 to 2012, it is all about change and to adapt and to forgive. Personal changes, earthly changes, cosmic changes, all these take place on an individual level and also on a cosmic level. The main themes for 2011 will be a mass UFO sighting around the world or major talk of it and major sightings. It is also about America and Yemen and different parts over there that will be in trouble and that will have reconstruction and the powers will be then put down. It is also about stargates opening and appearing all over the world. There's ones in the Gulf of Eden, Portugal, Australia, Greenland, and also Ireland, and also on the south coast of California. People giving up addictions to things that they feel the need to be clean and cleansed, and they will just get rid of them inside and out. Feeling the need to clean your home, your mind, body and spirit will all be the big themes also. It will also be a year of working on your soul purpose, getting on your path and remaining on your path. It will also be a year of finding other like-minded people coming to you in great numbers and wanting to have big debates on spiritual topics. It's also a change for your emotional level. It will be cleaning out. You will feel the need to cry and to release, then just do so. Just go with the flow. It is also going to be a fighting time as people who won't want to go with the flow and won't want to be involved in the energy will have big dramas. They will have big problems come up for them. Learning lessons that they will have to work out over and over again until they get them. This is a part of their journey. And all we can do is to send them empathy, to send them love and to send them light and to help them through that, but not to get involved. It is also a time for a spiritual clean out to make room for more of your psychic abilities. It will be a major increase in ESP and manifestation. Manifestation will happen quicker and other people, what they will be saying and talking around you, will also manifest into your reality. So surround yourself with like-minded people and people who are only putting out positivity and love. So then that's what you will manifest. Also, crystals are now more powerful than ever. They are vibrating at a higher, higher and faster rate. They are also new crystals coming out onto this world that people should be operating with or using as mother tinctures. Some examples are golden tektite and bustamite. <coughs> the elemental beings are also going into hiding. They're feeling the need and they're feeling the need for change. So they've gone into other dimensions just to hide for a while just so they can adapt and they can change in their environment and they can learn what they need to learn after 2012. They will also come back and incarnate back onto this earth as well. 
New dimensions are opening up everywhere. New planets, new stars are all being seen. New creatures, new aliens, new UFOs are all coming through thick and fast right now. It is time to open our eyes and to watch the skies. Most people have heard the call by now about 2012. It's not a new topic. It's been around for a very long time. Many different channelers, many different people have talked about this. But now more than ever, people are waking up to it and feeling the call to do something about it themselves. You're to take refuge in all of this knowledge and information. You're to make it a part of your own personal journey. If you feel it's right for you, then take it in and make it your sole contract. If it doesn't fit with you, just pull it aside and look at it later on. You're more than welcome to do that. If it just does not make any sense, it doesn't feel right for you, disregard it. That is fine. You'll find your own tools and your own path that will help you with your own ascension. There's also a lot of things with power heads going on at the moment. From governments to new order councils to other authority types and other people in other places are all starting to panic. The power control now is starting to ease up and it will soon be smashed into pieces altogether. So use your best intuitive tools for this period. It is a time to work on connecting with your higher self and to do some meditations on forgiveness. It is also time to activate your penile gland to get that up and going, connecting your right hemisphere and your left hemisphere brain together to bring in your psychic ability and your intuitive powers into one. It is also a time for global and earthly changes and to a great um, mention of them all. A shift and shaking of two major themes. The two major themes will be the element of water that will happen in 2012 and the element of fire which will be happening at the end of 2011. You will have to be very cautious of the four elements for the next two years. The four elements will interlock and interplay with each other causing a lot of earthquakes, volcanoes, different things will happen, a lot of natural disasters. For the southern quarter of the earth, it is to embrace the elements, to don't fight through the cycles, but to surrender and to go with the flow of the elements. Adapt to change. That is the most important message Sultan has come through with. The more you adapt and not fight it, the more you go with the flow, the easier the energy will be for you. A lot of people are getting physical symptoms of headaches, um, heart palpitations, um, high blood pressure because um, the energy is coming in very thick and fast at the moment and your physical body is trying to catch up with the energy. If you feel the need to nap and to rest, then do so. It is also a time to take in a lot more vitamins and minerals into your physical body to give it a fighting chance that it needs to cope with all these energies and drink plenty of water. It is also a time that have, they have shown me, which is the harmonic three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father being God, the energy being the Son, the higher self, and the Holy Spirit being your angelic connection or your spirit guides or your ascended masters or the spirits that you talk to, connecting all three in the Trinity of three and the Grand Cross will actually help you to get through this energy also. They are the four points on the Grand Cross, the fourth being you. The Trinity of three are the three points and the last point is you and your unconditional love. What will you do with unconditional love? How will you cope with it and how will you send it out? We all need to activate our DNA and turn on our fifth dimensional light body, the chariot of light. By putting ourselves a protective spaceship around us or a light egg formation around us or sending golden light to us will also help with this protection. And to send a golden ray of light around Mother Earth 
will also help to join and unify us with the, gal the galactic consciousness. No fear is allowed at this time. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. So stand tall, light workers. Fight your fights, win your battles, and go into the new golden age of 2012 as your complete, unique, beautiful, unconditional soul that you are. Blessings to all. Sultan. Thank you for sharing this message with me. And you're welcome to share it out to as many people as you choose to who think that might need it or would like to hear it. And I send you angel blessings, everyone. Goodbye.